Hey guys, Chevy here. We're with uh, Cam and he brought his vet cart out. And this thing is wild. Got a, yeah, yeah. Say, a got an eBay Nina. GT45? Nina. Yep, the smallest eBay GT45. Uh, running about 11 pounds. Uh, put down about 360 with 550 foot pounds at the wheels. Damn, that's impressive. It uh, does burn out to freeway speeds. <laughs> I bet it does. So does it still have 700 in it? Yeah, it's still got the 700 R4 with uh, TCI full manual valve body in the uh, B&M pistol grip there. Oh yeah. It's pretty fun to drive. It drives like a manual. Yeah. It shifts super hard. Yeah, this is rad. Run on a cheapo micro squirt. One of the cool things here is I'm pretty sure this would fit on a stock bodied vet. Yeah, I think it would fit underneath the hood. Yep. Yeah, definitely would if you put, uh, definitely would, yeah. You just have to change that oil line, but no problem. That's easy. Put a 90 out of it, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because everyone thinks these cars are slow. Well, yeah, they are. I mean, factory trim, you drove it. They're kind of This was actually really slow yeah. as a cart. Uh, oh. Even after it put down like 230 to the ground, yeah. uh, when we first dynoed it, we got the mega squirt on it. Uh, I, I guarantee you, like uh, a cheapo BMW sedan at the moment, it's probably faster than uh, this this particular car uh, without yeah. the turbo. Uh, but yeah, it, it got pretty insane after slapping the turbo. Your on Your car has automatic diff still, right? It's got yeah, pretty it's still tall the gears. 259 gears. So yeah, like uh, top of second, you're doing like 80, 90 miles an hour. <laughs> I think mine has 340s in it because it's got a 44. That would be good. Diff. What I was thinking about doing was uh, you can get the uh, the freeway geared manual diffs pretty cheap for like 400 bucks or so, and they're a 307 gear set, and also a little bit tougher. Yeah. Uh, so I was kind of thinking about that. It's yeah, uh, all factory wiring harness still, as you can see, there's a lot of extras on there. Oh yeah, there is so much, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe yeah. the mountain of harness. Oh, look under the dash there. Like, I, I, <laughs> I built this custom dash with, uh, yeah. you know, I blocked it and everything. Uh, but I just hid the factory wiring harness under it. There's probably another 50 pounds on this car to be lost, uh, just taking the wiring out. What does yours end up weighing? Uh, this weighs about 2350 right now. Yeah. It's not bad. So, it's... You know, it could be a little bit lighter, but I like having the windshield and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, windshield wipers still work, for uh, example. So you autocross this, huh? Yeah, I've been autocrossing it. I unfortunately haven't done so this year, but yeah. uh, hopefully next month I'll get the opportunity to you know, take out yeah. the autocross bit. Are you going to hill, gonna hill climb it too? Uh, probably not this year. I would like to, but I don't think I'll have a cage ready by then. So yeah. I'd feel a little more comfortable on a hill climb. Yeah, yeah, definitely. These are not really safe. Yeah, well, and this thing is pretty light on the back because you have to yeah. imagine, it, well, you know, like a, a well, yeah, mine has the gas tanks right here normally. It's a 20 yeah. gallon gas tank. Yeah, it's massive too. Yeah, so it's, it's all the way back here. So you start moving and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you really lighten up the back of the car, which, you know, is great for doing burnouts. But, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Really mine has all that cage on the back and it's still like, I think it's still only like 40, 46 percent on the back or something right now. Yeah. So I mean, it's still really light. Mine's 2350 <laughs> with the cage on it. Do you have a windshield on yours still? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I left. Like a lot of people have done that. No, I left everything. I left the metal underneath this, but I peeled all the glass off and I left all of that. But I cut the glass off of everything. Yeah, I think I have to cut down here to tie into the actual frame. Yeah, because there's there's a box inside of there. Yeah, it's right here. I think. Yeah, you just have to cut the plastic off. I just cut it down and then peeled all that off. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> it's really yeah, terrible. Like the gross glue yeah. and stuff that they Oh use. man, yeah. It just ruins your skin forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the ZR1 wheels and stuff. Yeah, I did uh, four yeah. rear ZR1 wheels, so it's 315s all the way around. That's what my dad had on his red one, the uh, road racer that we had. I didn't do good enough tires. I wish I would have spent a little bit more money on tires because they're just not sticky enough for uh, what I'm doing here. And I think he would have no problem spinning some stickier tires, anyways. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could imagine. Yeah. One of these days we'll have to get a ride in it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, once you get yours up and running again, I'd love to uh, run them too. Oh, yeah. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Don't cut straight dashboard if you want to. Like yeah, you're going to be waiting the road. <laughs> it's slow. It's slow. Okay. It takes about a minute and then it starts working. So it's like you get down to the end of my road, you get on the car road, you're good. It's a fuel pump. Fuel pump? 
That's awesome though. So you don't have to have gauges, you just have the screen. It's way cheaper than a full gauge set. Yeah? How much you got into that? Like building that? Yeah. It's like 100 bucks, if that, Woo! with the 7 inch screen. And yeah, if you have a little stylish, well, you actually, the where's program. your... I spent more than that in gauges. Yeah, I've got a... So we have a little Bluetooth keyboard. It's a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> so you can actually sit there and tune the whole thing, the car with it. From yeah. the from dash. the dashboard. That's awesome. And you can switch it from gauge okay? mode to dash mode. Yeah, it's hot. I really love the eBay. I love eBay. There's an entire Chinese fuel system, Chinese fuel tank, Chinese turbocharger, Chinese kinder turbo bike. I bought this, but it's eight. I bought the kids. I bought the E85 stuff because I was totally convinced I was going to E85. Yeah, that's what I got. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I got. 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 Yeah, Shop. 